just to um, close off because Aaron asked a great question, right? What this does is it focuses on a particular kind of question. It eliminates the exponent rules. It uses addition instead of subtraction. Those are all advantages. But what it focuses on is these guys. Um, divisors like x minus 3 or divisors like x plus 2. Okay, We have fancy names for these, right? Number one, they're monic because that leading coefficient is 1. But number two, do you remember I told you uh, when it's got degree 2 we call it quadratic, degree 3 is called cubic, degree 4 is called quartic. This is degree 1, what's that called? Do you remember? If you graphed it, what would this thing look like? Linear. It's a straight line, it's a linear, right? So it focuses on monic, oops, sorry, linear divisors, okay? Now here's the thing though, where, where this um, skill goes to, um, you end up using it in curve sketching, you end up using it in, um, <coughs> excuse me, um, a big topic called calculus next year when you differentiate and integrate stuff, you don't need to know what that is yet. But the important thing is for all of those processes where you're going, right, what you're going to be dividing by, like 99% of the time, if not more, is something that's monic and linear. Right? This is the use case that comes up again and again and again. Uh, it's just kind of a curiosity that you don't have to make it monic and linear. I can do long division for anything I like. But those other things, like if I divided it, instead of dividing by that, okay, if I wanted to, I could divide by this. Okay? If you want to, you know, go if you like. Um, but that tends to be like not a very useful process. Like That doesn't end up being very practical. It doesn't end up being a very useful thing to do in a, a large number of situations. Whereas, this guy, and this kind of problem, it comes up again, again, and again. So even though this method focuses on that kind of problem, I have no problem with that, because that's the most important one I'm after, okay? So, what I'm gonna ask you to do is, um, because this looks so different, it looks so different, I want you to practice this right now. You, you've got plenty of time. I want you to take, um, take any of the questions in part one. Any of the questions in part one. I mean, we did we did H, so so don't do H, okay? But pick any of the other ones, and in fact, pick a pick a long one, like pick I, okay? I is a great one because that takes you like ten minutes just to write the thing out, okay? And do it with synthetic. I'll give you two minutes to do that, and then I'll show you my answer on the board. It's really quick, okay? Do I? Like I said, once you get in the in the rhythm, it just it's it's so fast, it's so fast, and even just this, if this was the only difference, this would save you a dramatic amount of time. Okay, let's have a go. I've already set up my coefficients, and there's my divisor. I, the technical way of saying it, by the way, is this is the zero of the divisor. It's the thing that if I put this in to x, it would make the whole thing zero. What I do with this thing? Well, I just write down the first number. Whoop, there we go. And here comes my repeating step, right? I multiply, and then I add. I multiply, and then I add. I multiply, and then I add. I multiply and then I add. I multiply and then I add. Yeah? Does it look okay? Give me some nods. Yeah? The division is done. Okay, now all I need to do is just translate it back into this. This represents a polynomial with a remainder on the end. Okay? Now, remembering that I was dividing by something with um, this was degree 5, this thing up here, and this thing was degree 1. So, therefore, my quotient should be degree 4. In fact, it always just goes down 1, okay, uh, in these cases. So uh, this guy's going to be an x to the 4 term. So I've got a single x to the 4. I've got this many x cubed. So I've got this many x squared, this many x's. That's just a constant. And then this guy over here is my remainder. So quick, so efficient. When, you, when I first learned this, um, it like feels like you got a superpower. It's like, whoa, it just, it's done, okay? Um, so I find it much quicker. Like I said, if you see this, which is the vast majority of times, just go for it, pull out of it, okay? If in that small number of cases you get something like this, okay? You, you do need to do long division. Um, I will just quickly show you. I won't finish it, but I'll start it for you. I said you could do this. I said you could do that. You haven't really seen frequently um, having to divide by something with more terms in it, like we usually see a pair of terms, but it works in just the same way, it's just a bit slower. So for example, if I did, I'll do it long now, okay? Um, here is my, here's the divisor that I chose because I'm gonna put myself through some pain, okay? Here's my uh, dividend, 3x squared minus x. Minus, well, did I read it right? Yep, okay. Now, if I had to do this long, like if I had no choice, okay? 
Uh, again, I think about the most important term, the most important term, which is just the leading term, right? How many x squareds fit into x cubed? Two. Two. Two x, right? Because remember, I've got to multiply this back to get the same thing. So when I multiply back, I get two x cubed plus four x squared minus two x. Okay. Now this looks gross, but it's just a bit longer. That's all it is. So when I do the subtraction, this goes to zero. This here goes to three x squared take away four x squared is minus x squared. Minus x take away minus 2x becomes plus 2x, so that's going to be plus x, right? And then this minus 4 will come along for the right, okay? I ask the question again, how many x squareds fit into minus x squared? Minus one. And it's just minus 1, right? And I multiply back, and I go minus x squared minus 2x plus 1, okay? Those two cancel. Here I get 3x take away five, yeah? Okay, now, something is interesting here, and it's not the most important thing, but it's still worth pointing out. Three x minus five. Uh, I've got nothing left to bring down, right? Uh, there's nothing left to write. Um, how many times does x squared go into three x minus five? And the answer is, it, it doesn't go, right? Like, the x squared term is already bigger than what's here. So, I'm finished. That's my remainder, okay? It's weird that the remainder has an x in it, but that's because what we were dividing by was an x squared. 